Hey guys, Blood Monkey here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. Now, I'm gonna show you a couple things that I left out uh, around the actual world, and one of them being Brintilda. Brintilda is Grunty's sister, and every time you talk to her, she, she's in many parts of the game. Every, anytime you talk to her, she gives you three things about Grunty, and in the end of the game, you, you need to use them, but I'm not going to talk to her every time. Um, I got Google, and you guys do too. If you want to know what the secrets are, you're going to need them later on in the game, but I'm going to be honest with you, I Google them every time I beat this game. But just so you can see, I'm going to show you guys. Grunchy brushes her rotten teeth with moldy cheese flavored toothpaste. She also washes her hair with engine oil. Yuck. And she gets her clothes from the trash can. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I think the questions change, but I don't know. I guess we'll figure that whenever we get there. I'm not gonna sit there and run around looking up Brantilda's facts, but... That is one part of the game where you're supposed to talk to her. Now, let me show you guys what's down here. I'm trying not to take too long on this because this is a, a, a part of the game when you get farther. But there is a mumbo token, I mean, a, an eco bokum over here. So I'm going to go ahead and get that. But here you find another Matilda, which is right here. And you should find your mumbo token somewhere in the back of one of these trees. There it is. And here's another another puzzle piece, but we don't have nearly enough puzzles for that one. So we'll get that later. Now we're gonna head towards Clinker's Cavern. Which is gonna be a, oh, oh no wait wait first off I'm sorry about that guys first we're gonna head through here and I'm gonna lock another one of the I don't even know what I want to call them teleporting zones pots I'm just calling them pots and fuck you guys okay so I unlocked one of the pots and I think I'm I'm, I'm being honest right here I really do think until this uh, facts change. I kind of play a guessing game at the end usually because the questions are usually make more sense whenever you kind of guess. I don't, I don't know. I'll show you guys when we get there. But I'm going to have to look that up. I'm, I'm being completely honest here. I, I thought I've always looked up YouTube though. So I mean not YouTube but Google. But I don't know. Huh. I'll, I'll hit you guys. I'll hit, I'll hit you up with that again later. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and hit this button. And that basically gives us the passage to get into our next stage, which is Clanker's Cat. So here we go, let's get it. Okay, Clinker's Cavern. It is not one of the most memorable stages. To be honest, I think it's one of the least memorable stages for me, but it is a stage, and it's, it's not bad. It's, it's really not. I don't know. I just don't feel like I enjoyed it too much, but everything's pretty simple here. Nothing too hard. The, okay, what the fuck? I'm sorry. The only real obstacle is dealing with so much water in this stage. Okay, so those enemies, they pop out as soon as you come close to them. And right when you come close to them, you'll hear a, like, a grunt, like a err sound. And then just jump and use Kazooie's attack and you'll always hit them. Our golden feathers. This is our first golden feather and it's going to be relevant to us in a bit. It's part of a skill. It's one of the more famous skills in Magic Kazooie. So right now I'm just collecting all the notes and whatever else I can find in here. Okay, and our first ginger. Alright, now let's get it. Dive straight into the water, which we can't see because the camera got fucked. Alright, so we're gonna come down here. And I missed a note. I'm sorry. Okay. 
Come on, Banjo. Come on, work with me here. Okay, so usually whenever you get close to notes, what I usually do is right when I'm getting close to them, I start holding A so I don't miss them. Try kind of put myself in their direction and then plant myself with Kazooie. Okay, so basically this is Clanker and he is the main stage. Everything around him is a stage, but you go you go inside of him and you do a lot. So real quick, let's go through and get the the notes that we find in the bottom of the water, which is only through this pipe on the right. This pipe right here is the only pipe that has notes in it. So I'm just gonna save you guys a lot of time right here by telling you that because there are more pipes. And okay, I, I wanna show you guys that there's more pipes. You see that right there, there's one. And there should be one over here as well. Yeah, right here. And I don't wanna go in it. Well, I'm already in it. Okay. That was actually an accident. Okay, so we're gonna get out of the water. Uh, a lot of the movement you wanna do is using the jump mechanic. So just like that. This is mostly how you're gonna try to get around the stage. And then diving only whenever you need to. So right there off to the right you can kind of see that first jiggy we're gonna get so we're gonna go ahead and go get that right here by going through this door now remember what i tell you guys watch your air because you die everything you gained oh let me rephrase that all the notes you gained will be for nothing and it is really easy to overdo a part of because see look at that i'm already at three I'm probably gonna make it out of here with two or one. Actually, I'm probably just gonna make it out of here with one left. Eh, I really hope I don't die. No, I'm gonna make it. Yeah, hell yeah, I'm gonna make it. Alright, so I'm gonna make it out of here with two. Yeah, no, one. Okay. And then we're gonna just explore the next one. Stage isn't too bad. Like I said, it's it really is just is the water. There's a lot of water in this stage, and it just makes things a little bit difficult. So the way I approach this stage is what I like to do is okay. So I'm not gonna try to make myself look stupid by reading these guys' uh, thing, but basically they're trying to protect their jigsaw. So all you need to do, okay, I fucked that up, is kill them. Fighting motherfuckers for the jigsaws. Like a boss. Okay, I was, I was, where's the other one? There he is. Okay. So you take them out, and then you get the jigsaw. Okay, so like I was saying before we started fighting, um, the way I like to take the stage is this kind of the same way as the other one. I work in a circle and I try to grab everything and the outside before I go into the inside. So I'm going to grab everything around Clankers before I go onto him, which he will be the final part. Actually, no, I like There's... No, yeah, he, being inside Clankers will be the final part. Yeah, I, I was right, I was right, I'm sorry. And that's how we're gonna approach the stage. So, and uh, this time, I will not forget the Jinjos because last one I forgot a Jinjo and I was just like, I was so lost. <laughs> I thought I had everything. Okay, so we're gonna grab this blue Jinjo. I got you. I don't know how you can talk the water, but I got you. Alright, if I'm right, I believe that's the last uh, hole in the walls. So now we're gonna try to do. Um, actually, yeah, yeah, okay, we're gonna head this way. I, by the time this video ends, I wanna at least have Clinker out of the water to be ready to board him. But the, the stage isn't too bad. It's actually pretty short, I, in my opinion. We already have a good amount of the stuff that we're supposed to get. 
Okay. And we'll get the honeycombs at the same time, because they're, they're kind of in the same place. Okay, and we're going to get this trophy, and I'm going to head back down. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and go into Clanker. Not Clanker, my bad. Go under him. Now, this is the part where you can die, so you need to be careful. Okay, so you're just going to swim straight down. There's a hole right here. Connect to a chain. I mean, sorry, that has a chain going into it. And then you're going to just swim all the way down. Now, the, the reason this part is so frustrating isn't even the swimming mechanics. The swimming mechanics are good. It's the camera. The, I guess you're in tight spaces. Right now, I, I know there's no stuff right there, and I missed Jinjo, but that's not what I'm looking for. First off, to get what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to hit this and get a, get the key to move. But this is what I'm trying to get. This guy drops air bubbles, and the air bubbles give you give you air back, obviously. So let's try to grab the notes, then the God damn it. Oh my god, alright, alright, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm fucking this one up. Uh, I don't want to make a, this a video of you guys just watching me fail at fucking trying to get notes. So, okay, there we go. So, like I said, just whenever you're about to get close, go ahead and do it. See, right there, I'm already at three. So, I don't care if I miss this, and I don't care if I miss that one. I'm gonna try to get a bubble, because I'm already at two. Yeah, okay, there we go, we're good. The, the last thing you want is to drown. And let me just put it to you guys like this. Around three or two, three or two, you will not make it back to the top. So... Try to have yourself at, at least four, at least four. So if you try to swim out of here without getting a bubble again, you're not gonna make it. Okay. This is probably the the harder part to this stage. I'm just going to grab this guy and grab this note. And I don't, I don't know why I keep floating off like that. That's so weird. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and hit this key and get another bubble. Because we're starting to run out of air again. We're already at three, so let's get his bubble. Let's get another one. Okay, there we go. We're good. Okay, so you turn the key three times, and that should be it. So just one more time. And boom. I have five, uh, air, air, I wouldn't even know what I, air honey? Yeah, I don't even know what I would call them. Well, I have five of them right now, so I'm, I'm definitely gonna make it back up right here. And I believe I got all the notes. <sighs> I should probably do one more check, shouldn't I? No, I, I did, I'm pretty sure I did. Cause I went, I went around just right now, so, yeah, I got all the notes, I got all the notes. Uh, okay, you could already see one of the honeycombs, so I guess I'm already gonna go ahead and get the honeycombs. Because be actually, yeah, before I go into clankers, I'm gonna go ahead and get everything that's outside, like I said. So, come in here. There you go, one honeycomb. And that is right next to clankers' left fin. Now we're gonna get the other honeycomb by getting onto Clanker's fin, and then coming up here, kill this guy, and then jump, and there you go. You come up here, now there's two things up here. This first one has a ginger. You want to use Kazooie to run on these, because then Banjo will just slide down. And this next one, has a honeycomb. Okay, so I'll come back onto Clinker's fin. And then try to jump onto here. And 
there goes a pole that you can grab onto. Grab all the notes. I'm trying to grab all the things outside before we go into clankers. Okay, what's next? Uh, okay. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and jump onto clankers. And grab these notes. Okay, what the fuck? This depth perception, though. Okay. This is a problem that all the old uh, platforming games, the 3D platforming games had. It was the depth perception. It's really bad, but I mean, it's not impossible. Wow. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab this jig. Now for this next part, you're gonna want to run onto the tail with Kazooie. Because if you don't run with Kazooie, you're just gonna slip off with Banjo. So once you get to the end, you can go ahead and get Banjo back and jump using Kazooie. Now this one, I, it's kind of hard to guess what you're supposed to do. You gotta hit it with eggs. That isn't re that isn't really the easiest thing to guess because it doesn't even break it; it just opens it. But I mean, how do you guess that? Like, how, how are you supposed to figure that out? Okay, so I'm gonna go over a little bit of the time that I usually want to go over is 15 minutes. I'm gonna go over just a little bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab the the last couple of things that are out here. So, which are these notes? And then get back on Flanker. And we're gonna go ahead and go. God damn it. Fuck. Alright, I, I fucked that up. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to dive. Okay, so on the last part that you're outside of Clinkers, what you wanna do is get on here wait for it to shoot up and there you go now here you don't want to rush it because I I fell a lot here and it's it's not even a hard part it's really not it's just you need to take your time you know nice and steady this is why the turtle won the race kind of thing you know and then just come up here and get your chicks off okay so that is pretty much it that is everything outside of Clinkers. So we'll jump onto this platform, and that is it. Other than that, now we're just gonna go inside Clinkers, and well, yeah. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the episode right here. Well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, if you like the video, like it, and if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. All right, see you guys later.